Hi, Mel. Just running through how to update the weekly reports. Um, so in the area leader monthly report, we update these figures every week uh, for all of the meetings. So I've created a new report for September. Um, all of the information from the previous month stays the same uh, for all the referral groups, nurturing group size, etc. We just update each of the different meets, meetings week by week. For example, um, we go through each of the events for last week um, and what we need to do is put in the dates for each of those events. Um, so we know that there was events on the 2nd of the 9th, 2020, Deakin and Sydney CBD. Uh, we also know there are events on the 2nd, so 2nd, oh sorry, 3rd of the 9th, 2020. And so we go and we pick those ones, not the pods, that's going to be separate. And then the 4th of the 9th, 2020. And the, the remaining groups. And so that's going to be all the groups that had meetings last week. So first of all, we do a couple of things. We select all. And we apply or remove a tag. And we create a new tag. We only need to do this once um, for each month because it's the first week of the month. So and so attend a BX meeting September 2020. Meeting attendance, local meeting attendance. So create this tag, save, process. So we're gonna add that tag each week when we run these reports. It'll save having to look up the accumulation of each of the other weeks in each of the future reports. So now we'll go back to this here and we can use that. So September, attend a BX meeting, September 2020, search. So these are the 90 people that attended, change the search. So it's maximum number there. Okay, so now we actually wanna not be searching via referral group. So just to edit the columns as well. And we just wanna put in here, the column we want is the nurturing group. So get rid of referral group and have nurturing group. And now it will be via nurturing group. So now we just go through from this report, the Deacon. So we search for Deacon. Campbelltown. And we only need to do the ones we've actually got the nurturing numbers there. So work your way through all of the different numbers for all the groups there. Once you've done those ones there, then you can do the BX online. And so I have already done the report for those that attended last week. Same deal, just change it by nurturing group and work your way down. work your way through those. Once you've done that, you'll need to update. So there's these four events here. There's actually three. There'll be another one in October, which will be the hour, the podcast pitch. So there'll be four events. They're only once a month. So you only need to update these numbers once, whereas these numbers and these two columns update every week because they'll be the accumulation of each week. These ones here are simply one-off events and that one there is one-off event, and that one there is a one-off event. So you just update them once after they've happened for that month. So last week, we haven't had the Hour of Power, the BX Buy and Sell webinars yet, but we have had the Power Partner pods. 
So what we need to do is we need to do a new search and look up the power pods and define the tag for that one there. There we go, 10 of power pods, 39, 2020. And by nurturing group. Okay, same process, go back through your numbers. And so once you've done all the events, uh, so next week you won't need to change this column here at all, but you'll need to add in um, the next column of events we've had and um, then keep moving forward like that. Um, so the other column that you need to do and update each week is the accumulation of all events into the actual individual members. So what we do is we update this here. So we will include that there. Um, we'll also do the, uh, so, pods. so we will do the So this is the accumulation for the whole month always. So it's that one there and it's that one there. So it's all three of these, but it's not always the addition of all three because there's often duplication of members across these three. So there's 144. So as you can see down here, the total for here is 184. So there's a 40 odd members that are doubled up across the different events, which is why we need to run the separate report to do it. That's great. Okay, so actual individual members for Deacon, and you just work your way back through the process here. And what this does is this helps you. So this is uh, what we've got to make sure I do the 500, oh, it's not gonna pick it up. And you can see here we've got eight, which is eight there. And that tells you what the percentage engagement is so far this month. And we're working towards getting 80% engaged. And if you just work your way through each of those groups again, you'll find all that. So you can see Parameter 511, so that's actually seven and seven individual people in that instance. So this one is one, zero, one, two, but the total number of tenants is still two. So one of those persons is that person there as well. That's why I've got to go through and do it separately. Yep, and just work your way through that. Thank you.